All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're going to adjust our audio. So one thing you could do is you could make your audio meter bigger by grabbing it and making, that's a little too big, right? But on this, you can grab the edge here and kind of make it bigger. And you might want to zoom in a little bit. So zoom in, so you see like one uh, clip. The other thing I noticed on a lot of you, you're still using squint vision. Um, grab these edges right here. You guys see what I'm talking about right here? And you can kind of make these much taller and you can, you can clearly see the waveforms a lot more and that's gonna really help us out or give us some clues. So let's see how loud Mr. Amoroso is. Mr. Amoroso might be perfect. He's so loud. He's very loud. Traffic sucks. Get on a bike, get on a skateboard, help the environment, get off the road, by God. All right, so he's a little over six, negative six. And I'm gonna, it is negative six, but I'm gonna call it six and 12. Just so everyone knows, six and 12, even though it's a negative six and 12. Notice that that's not really red until it gets up close to zero. On our TriCaster, it gets up to red somewhere around negative 12. That's because the FCC, yes, that FCC would sue or fine you if you continually to make stuff over zero. So the FCC actually isn't always about censoring things. It was actually for industry broadcast standards. And one of the things they checked was volume levels. And if you continually pump volume out that was above zero, they would, they would fine you, and they still do, right? Um, also, I noticed this on, on cable, you guys don't have it, like back in the day when cable first came out, there was a lot of amateur channels out there, right? Like Comedy Central and BET were like nothing. They were so bare bones, right? And so you'd be watching the BET station and they were so paranoid of getting fined because they couldn't afford one. They had their stuff down really low. And then guess what happens? A commercial comes on and the commercials are perfectly well produced and they go right up to zero. So the same thing happened like with that action movie I described. You'd be watching Comedy Central and it'd be pretty quiet and all of a sudden a commercial comes on and it's super loud. Um, that's because those cable stations were so paranoid of getting fined back in the day. Anyway, look at me getting all you side stories over here. Let's go back to this task again. So he's a little, oh, he's bumping at about zero to six, right? On a bike, get on a skateboard, help the environment, get off the road. All right, so how do we do that? The easy way, is make sure you're on your arrow tool, right? And your arrow tool is right here. Is this thing on? Let's turn on this thing. Your arrow tool is right here, right? And so if you click your arrow tool or you press V for arrow, of course, um, there's a little tiny center line right here. It's a little tiny, it's all, you'd almost miss it. That separates the left and the right channel. And if I pull this up, if I click on it, and I pull it up, it gets louder. Oh my God. Right? If I grab it in the middle and pull it down, it becomes much quieter. Oops, go back here. Get on a bike, get on a skateboard. And now, he's not so loud. My God. Right? So, that's... That's about right. It's barely peaking over negative six. It's kind of hovering right around negative 12. Solid. We like this one, okay? So that's, that's, that's an easy way to do it. I'm gonna show you a few other tricks. Let's check out this guy. What's this guy's name? Anyone know? No one knows his name? The orange shirt, this guy. Fieldberg? Heath? Heath. 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 Keith Hooper. All right. So Heath here. Walk, drive, carpool, depending on the day. Um, he streets around that He's area. almost there. He's a little quiet, right? So I can bump him up about a few nudges. And notice it, it shows the decibel boost I'm giving. So I'm going to bump him up by a few decibels here, this little middle, middle line. Oh. Walk, drive, carpool, depending on the day. There you go. Let me hit, that's his next clip. I'm gonna pull that one up too. Get something like that. All right. Easy. Let's see if there's. Where's my example? Let's go to Miss Frivold. I'm gonna skip this this guy. Let's go to Frivold. All right, 
So let's look at this part right here. She, she's talking here. And this is a decent level. This needs to be bumped up. So I'm going to bump it up at about, let's try that, somewhere around three or four. Let's see. And then the second statement where she's like, I do live six miles away. There's really no excuse for anyone not to ride a bike, right? That little part where she's saying, it's softer. It's much softer. But all I've been showing you how to do is how to adjust it on a, on a singularity, right? So here's how to adjust portions of it. Is everyone watching? We're doing a new thing. Tap your neighbor. Be like, hey, yo, check it out. Tap your neighbor on the shoulder. Say hi. So check it out. Ready? All right. Um, you can press P or you can use the pen tool. You can either click on this thing or press P. You guys see this thing? All right, go ahead and click on it. All right? And then on my timeline here, I'm gonna make two dots. One dot, two dots. If you were trained in Final Cut Pro, this is the equivalent of ha holding down the Alt key. The Alt key. All right, and now, I have one dot, two dot. This side I leveled out. I like that leveling. This other side, I'm going to bump it up even more. And so what I just did there was I turned up the volume and it, the graphic gets represented. If I wanted to turn it down, I can just bring it down, right? But I want to turn it up. So I'm going to, cause she, start, she starts talking quieter and I wanted to bring the volume up cause she's making a point, right? There you go. And it's seamless. You don't really hear the jump. You don't hear that. It just slowly ramps up and it gets a little bit louder. Okay. So I can do the same thing at the end. Some people are like, how do I fade something out? You could fade something out with that same trick. Excuse me. I can, with that pen tool, let's say like it's a song or something, which I'm going to show you how to do later. I'm going to hit pen, pen, and I'm going to pull it down. And that fades it out. If you listen carefully. Oh, that was too short. So too short, that's okay. I'm gonna pull this out even more, like that. You should hear her voice taper off, right? It slowly faded out. I didn't have to do that part. I was just demonstrating you can do that with a song or you can do that at some places. Okay, so that's audio leveling. So that's what I want you to do right now real quick is I want you to go through, check all your audio. It might be as simple as just using the arrow tool, excuse me, V, pressing V or going to the arrow tool. When you're done with your pen, make sure you go back to the arrow tool or the selection tool, right? Right here, or press V. And get all your audio so that it's nice and evenly leveled, right? Bump a few people up, bump a few people down. Use the pen tool to adjust if there's a lot going on. Mr. Amoroso, I gotta turn down. You gotta be very precise where you're clicking on it. That's why I suggest making these bigger because um, that line is, is, is like three pixels wide. So you got to make sure you're clicking in the right space. And you want to get everything bouncing on around negative 6 to negative 12. Or if you need a little bit more of a window, negative 6 to negative 18. Get everything kind of bumping around here. Don't get stuff that's peaking. So uh, the next thing I want to show you is after you've leveled it out, is I want you to find a place where it jumps between the same speaker. So he's talking here. Boom, he's talking here. This is called a jump cut. We don't like jump cuts, okay? Or if you don't have any of those, make one. If you can't find any of those, find a place where it ad abruptly adju jumps from one speaker to the other, okay? So find that right now real quick. Again, you're finding something that looks like this. I have carpool depending on the day. Um, the streets around them, they there you are go. already backed up. So I've jumped from him talking to him talking again, because somewhere in between you were either asking a question or he was stumbling on his words. So I wanted to make him look as best as possible and trim out all the crap. All right, so find that spot. Okay. Hands up, who, who got their spot? Who found their spot? Good, 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 still looking, okay. Take another. Again, can't find that spot, just find a place where it's cutting between two people that you don't like. It doesn't feel smooth. All right, here's how to, re there's actually a couple ways to remedy this. 
the 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 I'm in dire situations. I can't do anything to remedy this. So I'll show you the desperate remedy first, and then I'm gonna undo it. Worst case scenario, go to the cut. If you see how the, you see, I can click right on the cut. I can like click right on the edge of the clip, and if I right click, I can add a default transition. Right? Uh, yeah, your my color might be a little, but it's the edge, right? Right click and choose apply default transition. And what that does is it does a little cross dissolve. So it looks like this. It does that. So it kind of has a nice little cross fade to it. Um, you might want to do that anyway because it does it well with the sound. But here's what you should try to do. We're going to use B-roll to hide our cuts and mistakes. Let me say that again. We're going to use B-roll to hide our cuts and mistakes. So everyone do this. Do this. First, find, you see how it says V1 and V1? You see that it has this V1 and V1 right here? Take this V1, click it so that it's off. Boop. And then go up to V2 and click right here so that it's on. Now this is very specific, so please look up here, right? Actually, I don't have to click it off. I'm sorry. See where it says V2? Go to the left of the, the lock here and click right here so that V1 to the left of the keys or capital V1. It used to be capital and lowercase. I don't know what happened. It used to help a little bit. So my V1 is now plugging in to V2. Right? This is my, they call it the source patch, right? This is my video input. So this is my, this window up here is now going to get fed into V2 instead of V1. So once again, just look at that. Now, do we want the audio from our B-roll? No. So I'm actually going to unplug or just click on so that it's blank A1. So what I've just told Premiere is, hey, Premiere, I'm, the next clip I take, put it on the top line or V2 line and don't give me the audio from it. So I'm actually going to, when we get the clip, it's going to be video only. Now find any clip. Pick a clip, any clip, I don't care. Find a clip that's, a, uh, I shouldn't say I don't care. Find a clip that's of the cars or of someone not talking, right? So this is kind of cool. Maybe I'll check this one out. Sorry, that's the, the scrubbing. Right. This is car driving. Someone got the street. Excellent. So I'll get that car passing through. Excellent. Zoom. We'll just do that. I'm going to do the same thing I did with the interview clips. What do I do where I want I want to pick a starting point? What do I press? I. And then I could kind of grab, I'll just get it so the car comes out. O. That's all I want. Just a little snippet. I can do a couple things. I could just drag it in right here. It's a little short. I might want to make it a little bit longer. I'm going to go a little longer. Does another car go through? There you go. Two cars are going through. Out. Oops. Out. Perfect. I could just drag it on top of them. Right? Like that. Or I could drag it over here and hit overwrite. And it's going to plop it in on top. But notice there's no audio. Okay, so if you did it wrong, if either you lost your audio, like the, the sound from this clip obliterated your interview, that means that over here, A1 was still plugged in and still blue. So make sure it's not blue. If, it, if you fed it in and it accidentally went over these tracks, make sure that V1 is plugged into track two. Lots of very specific technical details right there. Right? And now I've hid that cut. Let's show you some more fun features. So now it looks like this. I'm going to scoot it a little further back like that. So now check it out. Uh, I, I walk, drive, carpool, depending on the day. Um, the streets around them, they are already backed up. So, doesn't help my case. He's saying it's backed up and they're empty. Right? But... Um, there's a couple things I can do here. One, all right. 
the clip's a little long, but I like having two cars drive through, right? So someone already asked, how do I change the speed of something, Mr. G? And the great thing is, when in doubt, right click. So I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna choose um, speed and duration. Boop, boop. And I can, I can actually change the duration of it if I'm like, eh, I want it to be six seconds, or I want it to be three seconds, it will compensate the speed for that duration. Or I can just say, speed it up, make it twice as fast, so I go 200%. If I want it twice as slow, I go 50%, right? So a slower, a lower than 100 is gonna give you slow-mo, higher than 100 is gonna give you, um, you can also go backwards, you can have a lot of fun with speed. So now I got a shorter clip, that will just kind of hide that one cut. So now it goes like this. I walk, I drive, carpool, depending on the day. Um, the streets around them, they are already back. There you go. So what you can do is, anytime you have a little jump cut, like here with Miss Frivol, she's talking for a while and I've cut it twice, I can find another set of cars all right. What's the license plate say? There you go. Um, we would. That's why we're not airing these segments. It's fine. Technically, we'd have to. Because uh, technically, right, this is a student, right? So then if someone's stalking this student, they might find his license plate and be like, oh, I've confirmed he's now at this school and I can stalk this person. Right. Uh, there's ways to do it. Don't worry about it right now. So that, that's, that's more advanced right now. All right, so once again, I took a clip uh, and I'm gonna put it over Ms. Frivold. It's a little too long. So I'm just gonna right click and go to duration and I'm gonna speed it up about 400%. And the audio is not there. So whatever that horrible sound that was on it shouldn't be there anymore. And so now she's talking. Okay. So that's what it is. Did you notice how it was getting a little jumpy and clicky? Did you guys notice that? Right? No, that part. It's What's happening there is... It's doing too much work without processing. So if you get to a place where it's getting jumpy and skippy and not playing well, you need to render it. So I can go here to sequence and just choose render in and out. And what that'll do is it will kind of, notice how this is yellow. It'll start processing it for a little bit um, and it, it will polish up your sequence so then it'll play smoothly. Uh, so what it's doing is it's kind of pre-exporting. Notice it takes a while, which is why you don't want to do it too often. Um, so you can render something out when things get jumpy. When I start adding text and I have a speed effect and then I add transition, like it's going to happen. So you're going to need to let it render every once in a while. That's under sequence up here and choose render in and out as long as your sequence is selected. So this guy's figuring it out. And notice this is becoming green, and green means that it's rendered. Yellow means it'll play, but it'll, it's, it's working to play it. Green means it'll play smooth. And it, I'm just going to cancel it right when it gets past my little green patch. See how it's green? There you go. I'm just going to cancel. Boop. So now it's rendered up to here. So now it won't be jumpy anymore. So now it's playing smoothly. All right. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to find places where you have jump cuts or even just regular cuts or places where you think it would be convenient to have B-roll, right? So uh, this guy here, Heath, he's just talking for a really long time. So sometimes you don't even need to hide a jump cut. Sometimes you want to just kind of put something new in because if a person's talking for 10, 20 seconds, our, our ADD brains can't handle that, right? We like to see a new image on screen every like five to 10 seconds, which sounds insane when you say it out loud, 
But watch. Let's just watch him for a second. Everyone look. Let's just let's listen to Heath. This is, I think, six seconds. Well, it's pretty dumb pretty bad here, uh, but I'm not really sure what we can do about it. And, uh, it's just there's only a couple ways to get out of MA. I'm already tired of his face. <laughs> tired of it. Right? And it's not that I'm tired of his face. It's I want something new. And we're getting worse. We're getting worse as, a, as in general. We don't like... We don't like it when things just stay on the same image for a very, very long time. We like lots of quick change. So keep that in mind as a rule of thumb. Five to 10 seconds, start thinking about adding something. So I didn't jump cut it. I'm not throwing else in there. I'm just gonna throw B-roll in there because I'm sick of his face. You can tell Heath I said that, right? I will. <laughs> Mr. G is sick of your face. He'll be like, who's Mr. G, right? Um, so I'm just gonna take this clip. It's a nice little zoom. I think what happened was the connection on this, the mic was loose. So I'm going to just get it a little, it's a little, that's the end of the zoom. So right about that. There. I'm going to put that right on top. Perfect. Yeah. Sick of his face? Oh, I'm looking at a tree. I feel better. Oh, I'm sick of that tree. Oh, okay. I remember that guy. That guy's nice. Oh, I'm sick of him. Ah. Oh, I got another piece of footage here. All right. So that's B-roll, and that's why we need B-roll. Okay? So go through and find what you want is, basically you want the image changing every 5 to 10 seconds. And you want, I don't want to quantify the number of B-roll, but you definitely need enough. If you want me to put a number on it, I'm going to say try to get like 6 B-roll shots on top of people speaking. Try to get 6. If you have a really short, I see, yeah. If you have a really short amount Try to get uh, maybe three. Say three to six for our practice. And thank you for the timer. I'm going to stop. Keep working. We're going to officially stop at 1050.